Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to pull an ignition overrev report on your Porsche vehicle using a Foxwell NT530 scanner. As a bonus, towards the end of this video, I'm going to post up the logic on how to calculate the amount of time spent at the rev limiter and walk you through an example. So before we dive in deeper with the tool, let's talk about overrevs for a minute. What are they? What ranges are considered acceptable? What ranges are considered potentially bad? And basically just what is an overrev? An overrev, more or less, to sum it up, is basically the number of ignitions that the vehicle spent past the rev limiter within a certain range and for how much time. So each one of these range is going to be a certain number of RPMs past the red line. It's going to differ on all sorts of Porsche vehicles. On a 987.1, range 1 might be, for example, anything past 7,000 to 7,200, for example, and anything from 7,200 to 7,400, for example, could be range two or range three, just hypothetically. But it's gonna differ depending on your Porsche generation a little bit. So pull some of the specs from PCA or from some of the web forms to get the particulars for your generation. But again, an overrev generally is the number of ignitions past the rev limiter or the red line that the vehicle has gone past and how much time it has spent there. Now, what's considered good and what's considered bad? Generally, ranges one to three are acceptable and anything in ranges four, five, and six are considered potentially catastrophic or ranges that if your vehicle has spent any time in these over rev ranges, Porsche will not CPO a vehicle that's had over revs in ranges four, five, and six without exception. Generally, any car you're gonna see some over rev ranges in one or maybe two. One is basically if you're hitting the rev limiter, you'll normally see an over rev in that range. Anything one to three though, again, not considered catastrophic. Don't shy away from any vehicle if you see over revs in ranges one to three as a general rule. Four, five, or six might be a little bit questionable depending on when the last time that over rev occurred and how many operating hours are on the vehicle. Now back to our Foxwell scanner, we have it plugged in, we have the key in the ignition, and turned into accessory mode, but the vehicle is not started. So within your scanner, you're gonna come over to Porsche. You're gonna do Smart VIN. Yep. Now within here, what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to do a diagnosis. And the control module that we're gonna to wanna to pick is the DME control system. What we want to do from here is we want to go down to special functions and we want to go down to vehicle data. So once the vehicle data menu loads, the first thing that's going to come up is the over rev report or the number of ignitions within each range. On my vehicle, you can see there's some over revs in range one and a very small number of over revs in range two, nothing in ranges three, four, five, or six. This would be considered an exceptional over rev report. Also, what you'll see underneath the number of ignitions is you'll see the total number of operating hours currently on the vehicle. Mine is at 314.8. You can use the operating hours to go back to the number of ignitions in each range to see when was the last time that ignition or that over rev occurred within that range based upon the current operating hours on the vehicle. So now that we have our over revs pulled, let's talk about how to calculate the amount of time spent at the rev limiter for each particular range. So on a six cylinder engine, there are three ignition pulses per engine revolution. So what I've done is I put the calculation logic down below. So you can go through and do this yourself for your specific vehicle based upon the RPMs for the over rev ranges. So if we take my car, for example, which has 782 ignitions in range one, let's walk through the calculation. We divide 782 by three to get the number of engine revolutions. We then take the engine revolutions and divide that by 7,200, which is the RPM for range one over rev. And that gives us the total number of minutes spent at the limiter. We then multiply that by 60 to get the total number of seconds spent at the limiter for that range over the lifetime of the engine. That's how you pull an ignition over rev report on a Porsche vehicle using a Foxfell NT530 scanner. If you guys found this video helpful, please be sure to go ahead and hit that like button. If you have any questions for me, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll talk to you all soon.